Ukrainian Scandinavian Center is a platform for educational and cultural cooperation between Ukraine and Scandinavia. I like the people that come here to learn languages, to uh, find out more about Scandinavian countries, uh, to take some uh, part in our different workshops and so on. Our teachers um, are those who have been living in Norway, for example, or have been studying Norwegian for a long time, have been taking uh, international exams. But to le learn the language, I think it's very important to also practice it with native speakers. So we are uh, trying to also involve native speakers who come to us for like either a week or three weeks and talk to the students to have speaking clubs, to carry out the, the activities uh, during the lessons, and it helps a lot. So we organize different, for example, table games evenings and also movie nights, also different workshops to create uh, with uh, own hands, different, uh, different decorations with Scandinavian motifs. We created this community, or we are trying to create this community where people feel um, comfortable when they feel um, uh, that they actually want to go and learn something and I think this is the best motivation for everyone who learns a foreign language. We started with 13 students of Norwegian language and nowadays we have Danish, Norwegian, Swedish, Finnish. Uh, different people from Scandinavian countries, especially from Norway and Sweden and Denmark, come to us and help our students to experience and to learn these languages better. project we're having on the side from the center is a summer school that is uh, taking place in Chernitsi. And I think it's a good opportunity and motivation for our students to show the best results because there they can um, practice their language skills with native speakers. My students are the Ukrainian students of the summer school and we have a lot of fun learning Norwegian. I'm a big fan of uh, teaching through moving and being interactive. I don't think sitting down and just writing is so effective. So I like to uh, use tasks that include movement. So one of the things we've been doing is having uh, relays We've, had, uh, we've been outside uh, kicking a ball to learn the numbers. We've had different kinds of activities. with the progression that these students have had. I think Norwegians and Ukrainians have a lot to common. Uh, I think we all share the love of nature. We like to eat the uh, same food. We have a great understanding of each other. We can socialize. We have a cultural heritage back from the Viking period. Uh, but I think the workplace cultures are quite different. And that's something we should be aware of. 
and learn from. I have a strong belief in cultural exchange, in educational exchange. If we as people swim in only one swimming pool, we think that's what swimming pools are like. And when you have the opportunity to swim in another swimming pool, it doesn't mean that is better, but you can see other options. You expand your horizons. You learn to know about life in a very meaningful way. Cooperation between Ukraine and Scandinavia has a lot of perspectives uh, and potential, so I think that everyone should get involved and help us to develop this platform. I have learned that uh, Ukraine is a, a country with a lot of hospitality, with people are very open and very friendly, and I just love Ukraine. Ukraine and Norway are friends and partners. We've chosen the best language. I hope and see you next time.